Welcome back to Fat Cloud TV, brought to you by VapiCheap, and today we'll be taking a first look at the brand new Bonza RDA. So the Bonza RDA is by Vandy Vape and YouTuber The Vaping Bogan. If you haven't checked them out, be sure to check them out. I'll leave links in the description where you can check out some of his videos. He's a pretty funny vape reviewer and um, he does really great reviews. But anyway, the Bonza RDA is his first atomizer to hit the market. Collaboration between him and Vandy Vape, like I said. Vandy Vape just, just released the uh, Pulse BF box man. We actually did a first look on it um, last the other week. So now they're back at it again with the Bonza RDA. And this one is more of um, to fit the vaping bogus vaping style rather than bring something crazy and innovative. Is um, even though I feel like just by looking at this, some even though it's similar to an RDA, um, it does take and implement different aspects of different atomizers and pretty much bring them all together in one to to you know fit his vaping style and fit you know many other vapors. So this RDA is 24 millimeter in, bit in diameter. It uh, has fully adjustable airflow. It supports both single and dual coil builds, which is a huge pro. Um, it has a full gold-plated build deck. It comes with a squonky pin and a squonky pin, excuse me, which is uh, another great, great thing because we, you know, squonky is really taking off. And like I said, we just did the Pulse BF box mod. Um, Menu is available in four different colors. I have the stainless steel color here. It's available in stainless steel black. I think gold and rainbow. Um, I'll make sure that I'll put them in somewhere here just to make sure. Uh, so anyway, let's uh, take a quick look and dive down. But I do want to thank Vandy Vape for sending this my way for this video. Thank you, Vandy Vape, very much. We appreciate it. So anyway, let's um, not waste any more time. Let's get down below. All right, here we are. I'm close with the Bonza RDA by Vandy Vape and the Vaping Bogan. This is the sample packaging, as you guys know. Um, but by going by their previous packaging for their products, I'm pretty sure it'll be good. This is the stainless steel color. For the sample right here, on the back you get some uh, minor information. So once you slide open the packaging, you have the Bonza RDA with a pre-installed resin drip tip. You get an extra Delrin drip tip, and you get an extra Alton drip tip. Drip tip. So you get three different drip tips with this RDA, which is uh, great, you know. Uh, I definitely like the resin drip tip the most, obviously. We've seen a lot of Delrin and Alton. Um, so it was nice of them to include a resin drip tip, and this is something we've been seeing a lot uh, nowadays. But anyway, just to show you what you get inside the packaging, I'll just take out the bouncer real quick. And um, yeah, give me one second. So as with any other any other RDA, you know you get spare O-rings, you get um, a screwdriver, Allen key, um, <clears throat> five ten drip tip adapter. These screws are these screws are actually Phillips head, and the one that's pre-installed is flathead, which is always great. Um, nothing special here, just the usual, you know. So I'll show you the Bogan RDA now. The Sorry about that, guys. Uh, my phone rang. But anyway, back to the Bonza RDA. So yeah, it's relatively plain. It does fit 810 drip tips. Um, so you can use all your favorite 810 drip tips, which is always a good thing. There is an O-ring inside there to keep it nice and snug. snug. So the drip tip, it doesn't come out too easy. It has some tension there, which is good. So I'm going to go ahead and attach it to a mod real quick so I can um, show you the build deck. As mentioned earlier, um, it does have a gold-plated build deck. Now, this is a build deck you've probably seen before with... Um, I think it was the OBS Cheetah version 2, but this one is a bit different. The OBS Cheetah version 2 had these, uh, the post hole different, um, the clamp and the post hole in the opposite um, uh, position, sorry. So with this one, it makes it easier to install because your lower lead goes into the clamp the the lower it's a, a clamp that lowers down that goes up when you close it so it makes it really easy and then your your top lead goes into the outer post hole so it makes it really easy to install your coils um i'm pretty sure experienced coil builders will have no issues with building on this and beginners probably won't have that much of an issue but um 
yeah, it's gold plated. It does have a lip right here for your uh, top cap to sit. And for squawking, which is really nice, I'm not sure if you see it, but there is a, the center is kind of like open. So when you squonk, the, the uh, e-liquid will kind of spread across the deck rather than uh, fight to go on either side, which is always a good thing for squonking. Um, yeah, so it's relatively simple. I mean, there's nothing crazy about it. It's a um, kind of like a normal, it implements a normal traditional post hole and a clamp, a bottom um, sliding clamp. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and throw a build in it. Oh, something else to mention too, I forgot, is that the post hole actually comes down, I mean, the post screw comes down rather than from the side. So that means it won't, uh, you know, mess up the, the leads of your exotic coil build, like fuse clapped ins and aliens and stuff like that. So you got to worry about all that. Uh, which is also a good thing. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and throw a build in here and I'll show you um, some vapor. So I'm back. I threw a quick build in there. Uh, I threw a dual fuse clapped in. This is a build that is it's like a my go-to build that I throw in pretty much every RDA and RTA just to kind of test it out. It's a build that I know. So, um, But this one actually has an extra wrap. Uh, this is actually a 7 wrap fuse clapped in. The resistance is about a 0 0.21 ohm. So I have it on the ThinkVape um, DNA250, ThinkVape Finder DNA250. And for this, I'll be putting in some Blue Pucker by Tony B. This is absolutely, absolutely delicious. I can see I'm almost done with the bottle. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and drip some e-liquid. This has a really, really deep juice well. So it's, you could put a pretty, a good amount of e-liquid before you um, need to redrip. So anyway, you could just easily pour down like so. And yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna vape it for about 15-20 minutes and let you know what I think about it up top. Now we better put the Bonza RDA by Vandy Vape and the Vaping Bogan. So one of my first thoughts, and what do I think of it initially? Now, I do want to talk about building first, um, since that's the first thing we're doing with this RDA. It's really, really easy to build on. The um, clamp and then the normal post hole, like I said, just put your lower leads into the clamps and then put the upper lead, the top lead, into the post hole. And it literally just slides into place and you can tighten them down. Now, depending on the, the length or how thick your coil bill is, um, will determine if you need to pre-cut your leads. Now with the build I have in here, the dual fuse Clapton, I didn't really have to um, pre-cut my leads because I had enough room to kind of go in with my wire cutter and easily snip the wire, the excess wire. Now if you have a thicker coil build, that might not be the case, so I would recommend to pre-cut your leads um, if you, depending on your coil build. I, I would generally recommend that with a lot of different um, RDAs and RTAs, but for this one I would kind of um, pre-cut your leads and it'll be a lot easier and that's not saying it's hard to build on it's really easy to build on uh, and that'll, that'll just make it easier overall now I do like the resin drip tip it doesn't really get hot it's actually really comfortable and best of all you can use your own if you didn't want to use it the construction is really good um, with all Vandy Bay products that we've gotten the construction of all of them have been really 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 good and um, especially coming out of China it's really solid for the price point. Now, the RDA has, like I said, a lot of uh, airflow holes, smaller airflow holes, and it actually reminds me a little bit of the Vapors Cloud. I think it was the Buddha that had a similar type of airflow. And that's not saying it's bad or anything. It's actually very, very smooth. And that was like one of the first things I noticed with this RDA is how smooth and it's relatively quiet how this RDA vapes like. See, it's very, very smooth. There's no turbulence, and that's wide open. There's no turbulence. There's no um, any type of, uh, like, tight feeling. It's very, very sushi, and it's very smooth, which is great. Um, another thing is this thing has a really, really deep juice oil. You can literally pour e-liquid into this RDA and not have any trouble. Now, I, I, you know, I'm the type of vapor, if I'm dripping, I like to drip right through the middle, and with this, you can do that. So... Um, if that's if that's your thing, don't worry, you won't have to worry about that one. So let me take a vape and let you know what I think about it. Like I said, it's a 0.21 ohm build. 
It's a dual fuse Clapton, 26 gauge nichromatic on the inner, wrapped with 36 gauge nichromatic, and I'm vaping it at 90 watts. And the airflow is wide open. Plenty of vapor production, as you see. A lot of vapor production. The flavor is not the best, but it's not the worst. It's kind of like in the middle. Now, I wouldn't really call this a flavor chasing RDA because of how much airflow this thing is. But thankfully, you know, even though you have a lot of airflow, you can close it off. So for me personally, I like to close it off just one row of the airflow holes. Um, you probably won't be able to see it, but you have a ton like that. I like to just close one. So I'm going to go ahead and take another vape at the same 90 watts. You still got plenty of vapor, and the flavor increases just a little bit, and there's a little bit more restriction. I'm the type of vapor, I like a little bit more restriction to, to the draw, so that suits my vaping style a little bit better. But even wide open, there's a little bit of restriction there, which is good um, if you're cloud chasing. Now, the flavor, like I said, it's, it's right in the middle. Um, it is better, if you're a flavor chasing and you're looking for a flavor chaser RDA, uh, this is probably not going to be for you. But if you're looking for like a mixture of both where you get a good flavor and really good vapor production, then something like this would be really good for you. Um, with it being easy to build on, you get like a three different drip tips, plus the five time drip tip adapter. It's easy to build on. You have a deep juice well. You can fit some pretty big coils in here. I mean, that seven wrap fuse clutch is not small by any means. That was over a three millimeter diameter. I'm pretty sure you probably get away with like three and a half millimeter diameter. And or like a thicker coil at a three millimeter. I mean, I've seen some pictures and stuff where people fit some giant coils in here. So even though it's 24 millimeter in diameter, you can still fit like a really, really good uh, coil build in here. You know, like I said in, in the up close, I just like doing this type of build as it's something I know and I vape on a lot. So I kind of have a feel of how it performs against other RDAs. So my final thoughts on this RDA is that it's a good all around RDA. There's nothing crazy or different about it. There's nothing innovative about it. And it's really not meant to do that. It's meant to be like a good all around RDA in my opinion. And I think it does that really well. It supports single and dual coil build. So if you want a single coil build, um, you could just close off one side of the airflow. You could squawk with it. Um, so I mean, I might end up squawking with this because of how deep the juice well is and how it's designed for squawking. So Anyway, I'm going to take one more drag and then wrap up this video. Like I said, you got plenty of vapor. This room is probably foggy, so I apologize for that. You got plenty of vapor. You got plenty of favor. I think it's a really good RDA for the money. The build quality is there. I think the Vapor Boga did a good job implementing different kind of aspects and different RDAs and putting them together. Vanity Vape did a good job, you know, manufacturing, of course, and putting their thoughts into it. I'm not exactly sure how that one went down, but I think they both did a great job in putting together this RDA. And I'm not 100% sure if it's available. It might be available next week or two, but I'll put links in, in the description where you could uh, pre-order one if you're interested. So with that being said, Thanks for watching Fat Cloud TV, brought to you by Vapor Cheap. If you like this video, give us a like. If you want to see more from us, give us a subscribe. If you want to, if you liked it a lot, just you know share it with your friends if you want. And um, be sure to visit Vapor Cheap where we have a couple of giveaways going on right now. And we post reviews every week and 10 deals every day to make sure you're vaping cheap. And with all that being said, keep it cloudy.